We're going to be talking about photography today and we're going to become photographers and you're going to have your very first photography client. Today we're going to be doing portrait photography and we are going to be taking portraits of our favorite toys or stuffed animals. The first thing that we want to talk about is light and light matters because you want your client to look their very best. And in order for their client to look their best, they need to have really good lighting. Your best tool that you have to check lighting, everybody has this. Well, hopefully you guys all have at least one hand. So this will work really well if you're outside and if you're inside, it will also work. I would just probably recommend trying to use your windows as your light and turn off your overhead lights. So you probably wanna to try to do this during a bright time of the day. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at hand, your hand and you see all those wrinkles and folds that you have in your hand. Well, as you turn and the lighting is different, see how I can see these wrinkles a lot more now? So I'm looking my best right here. You can tell the difference if I turn over here, I have more dark under eye circles. Here I'm backlit, so that can be hard because my face won't be the emphasis or the focal point and my face will be more in shadow if you have the light behind you. So you wanna have your light in front of you. Sometimes that's tricky, so you can use your hand as a cheat sheet. So you wanna put your little guy facing the light. We've been talking about the principle of design of emphasis. And emphasis is what is the main focus or the focal point. Now, if I were to stand back here in the room and take a picture of my stuffed animal the way it is, is he the emphasis or the focal point? Is he the main thing that you look at in your picture? Um, I say no because I can see so many things that are distracting for my eye. I can see my exercise ball, I see this picture, I see the color wheel, I see all this stuff right in here. So what I wanna do are two things. One is get closer, and two, I'm gonna have to clean this area up. Now I'm very close, I've cleaned up all this stuff. My giraffe is facing the sunlight, and so now when I go to take the picture, he is the emphasis of my picture. Now we are in Graham's room and we're going to test out lighting and location. So those are two things that we're looking for. So it's a kind of a cloudy, cold day here. So I have two windows all the way open and I do have my overhead lights on for, for the room. Um, I can try it without and with. So if I do my hand trick, my hand is totally in shadow here. And if I turn it this way, it's much lighter. So what we're gonna do is turn the chair. I have my lighting checked. The chair is turned towards the window. I have my light in my room turned off. And I now am going to do number two, location. So the chair is just has this blanket and pillow, which I think is fine. I don't think it's going to distract. The emphasis is still on my draft. And if he's in front of these things, he doesn't blend in too much, but it makes a nice backdrop. So I'm going to hold my iPad. I'm going to hold it still. This is easy right now because my arms are just resting on this chair. And then I'm going to press the button. I can try a couple different shots. Maybe I want to get above a little bit. Maybe I want to get really close to his face and you can click that button on there. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> he looks darling. So with stuffed animals, you don't have to worry about trying to make them smile. They're always happy. Um, okay. So that's the part about location and lighting. Now, what if you can't easily fix your lighting and what if you want to get a shot that shows your favorite pal doing one of his favorite things. Well, I'm gonna show you guys what to do for that. So Graham isn't old enough to have stuffed animals in his crib, but I know you guys probably keep yours in your bed. 
Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do one near his bed. Okay, so the other kind of different thing about this is it was easy for me to move the chair, but can I move the bed? No, I'm not gonna move the bed for this picture. I'm guessing that's probably the same at your house. You're not gonna move your bed. So I'm gonna actually, for this one, try turning on the light because you see when the light is turned off, I'm getting, using the natural light, I'm getting a lot more of the shadow from the bars. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I can try some with or without and see if it matters. So I'm gonna bring my little guy over here. I'm just gonna pop him through the bars. Get my iPad, hold it nice and steady. Let's see, I'm gonna flip this so that the button is closer to my arms down here. So I'm bracing my arms on my body and you can get someone to help you hold that too if you want. Now, what if he wants to have some friends with him? This is Mr. Rattlehead. Maybe he's got a friend playing with him. I could even do one cropping out some of Mr. Rattlehead and just focus on my giraffe. And now I'm going to try some without the light and see if that makes a difference. So you can experiment. When you're wanting to take photos on your iPad, you are going to look for the camera icon, which a lot of time is down here, but not always. You might have to search through your pages for it. And when you're taking your pictures, you're going to just click on the white button. Now, when you're ready to edit and you're done taking your pictures, you're going to click on this colorful icon, the color wheel that says photos. And now I'm going to go down here. It's on albums. So I'm going to go to my photos. And here are the pictures I've taken today. When you're done taking pictures, that's the fun part for a lot of photographers, but your job is not finished at that point. You have to edit. What I'm gonna do is go through and look at my photos. Oh, he's just so cute. Ooh and ah, if there's one I love, I'm gonna go ahead and tap the heart. Looks like on this one, he's a little more focused on his body than on his face. So. Next time I try taking a picture, I need to make sure I click on his face. I like this one. I wish it was a little darker. So what I'm gonna, or not darker, I wish it was a little lighter. So I'm gonna hit edit. I'm gonna go down here to this dial, click the light button, and then I can scroll and see how it just brightens up his little face and then hit done. So now that I've hearted some of my pictures, I can see on here, and if you want, if you've taken a lot, you can go ahead and select the ones you know you don't want and you can delete those. When it's time to upload to Seesaw, you're not gonna upload all of these. You're gonna pick your one, this is gonna be hard, I know. One favorite close-up shot, maybe you should do two. One to two if you're dying, favorite close-up shot. One to two favorite landscape on location type shot. Okay, so how to post these, I'm doing sample student. You do yourself, hit the plus button, post to your journal, hit a camera roll, go to your favorites, Choose your favorite one, hit check. And then this time, you guys are gonna actually click everyone. And that way your friends will be able to comment. Then you're gonna make sure you click the art folder. And then hopefully you guys should also be able to comment and see each other's stuffed animals. You can like them, or you can leave something nice. If you want to comment on your own, you can tell us what your stuffed animal's name is, maybe why you took the picture where you did, something that you learned during the project, feel free to share any of that. And the next time in class, I won't be able to share all, but we're gonna take turns sharing during class, depending on how much time we have. So I will pick your names um, randomly, and we will one by one get through everybody 
through the course of the quarter getting a turn to share. Be prepared to talk about what you learned, how you tested your lighting, um, how you chose your location, and I can't wait to see your little stuffed animals.